All right, here's hoping I have enough room on this camera for this freaking long video. Let's do this. So my friend Britt tagged me in the 160 questions tag, and I have nothing to do for the next three weeks, so I'm gonna do it, cause why not? It's technically like a first date questions tag, so we're gonna go on a date, girl. Let's go, let's get ready. Oh my God, what? You need to do your hair though, girl, like, Girl, get ready. <laughs> Question one, what do you like to do in your free time? I'll read manga and play Animal Crossing. Are you more of an indoors person or an outdoors person? Definitely an indoors person. I stay inside forever. <laughs> Who is the most fascinating person you've met? Ooh, I didn't think about this question. Great, that's <laughs> fun. Um, let's see, I mean, I've met a lot of really awesome voice actors. The first one that's like popping in my mind right now, and it's only because I miss him, is uh, Robert Axelrod. He was a very, very sweet person, and I miss him. And I got the very awesome opportunity to be a guest liaison for him a while back at a convention. So, yeah, I would say him because he was wonderful. What was the last book you really got into? Okay, so I read a short story by my friend called Taming Jake, and it's by Hurry Cosmo, and it is a BDSM gay romance novel, and it fueled my soul. It was so good. Highly recommended. Link in the bio. <laughs> what are some movies you really enjoyed? There are so many, there are so many, girl. Um, the Lost Boys, Dead Again is one of my absolute favorite movies. Are we thinking like of all time or in general? Cause those are like my favorites. If we're going like recently, Knives Out was really good. I really liked Knives Out, that was a good one. What amazing adventures have you been on? Well, I went on a Disney cruise to the Caribbean. That was amazing. And then I also went to Hawaii, I went to Maui, that was a lot of fun. And then every convention that I've ever been to ever was a lot of fun as well. What pets have you had? I've had three dogs, one currently behind me, who is sleeping and pouting because she wants dinner. And then also I've had at least like five or seven cats. Um, I had a parakeet at one point. I've had fish, lots of pets. What's your favorite alcoholic and non-alcoholic drink? Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Uh, well, I, actually, I guess I do. The, I really like the watermelon, I think it was a Long Island iced tea. It was like a watermelon margarita. It was really good. And then also, oh, it was a, there was a sour that I really liked. I don't remember what it was called. It was some sort of sour. It was really sweet. I like sweet drinks. I'm gay like that. Fruity drinks, sweet drinks, yes queen. Um, but the non-alcoholic, I really like um, apple juice, because I'm a child, <laughs> and hmm, I guess some sort of like iced tea, like sweet tea is really good. What are you kind of obsessed with these days? Uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's all I do now. And gay erotica. <laughs> Where have you traveled? I have answered this. I, I went to Hawaii and Maui. I have been to Vancouver. Um, I went to, uh, there are these islands, the San Juan Islands around the Oregon coast, I believe. Maybe, maybe it was Canadian coast. It's around there. It's over there, girl. What's your favorite international food? Ooh, I didn't think about this. Um, I really love Thai food. Love Thai food. Would never want to go to Thailand, but I love Thai food. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm definitely a night owl. I don't like getting up in the morning. I haven't got up before 10 in the past, like, week. So, because we're, we're in a pandemic, who cares? What's your favorite restaurant? I don't go out anymore. <laughs> At any pizza place. I'm easy. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? I have two. I have a brother and a sister. What would be your dream job? I would love to be a comic book artist, or I don't know if I'd call it a manga artist. I, I do something involving comics. That would what, That's what I want to do. What would you do if you had enough money to not need a job? I would buy a house and live there and never leave my house and DoorDash every single day and then get fat and die. <laughs> 
Who is your favorite author? My favorite author... Ugh, I have so many favorite authors. No, I don't even know. Uh, Brian Ferry, David Levithan, Mitch Album. Gosh, so many, so many favorites. I love them all. Hurry Cosmo. What was the last show you binge watched? Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then I got into Zeo and I stopped because Zeo is... It's not good. <laughs> okay, moving on. The what TV series do you keep coming back to and rewatching? Community. I watch that all the time, and it just got put back on Netflix, and uh, now I'm watching that again because I love Community. It's so good. What hobbies would you like to get into if you had the time and money? I already do what I want to do. I, I stay home and play video games and read manga. I don't want to do anything else. Girl, I'm done. I'm fine here. I'm fine here in my room. If there was an Olympics for everyday activities, what activity would you have a good chance of winning a medal in? Being lazy. <laughs> and reading gay erotica. <laughs> what would your perfect vacation look like? Uh, I mean, I love going to conventions, so... But, I mean, if we're going, like, all out for, like, a perfect vacation, I'd love to go to Hawaii again. I'd love to go to an island and just chill and relax. That sounds great right now. Maybe not right now, but if there was nothing prohibiting it, I would love to do that. Among your friends, what are you best known for? Being gay. And fabulous. Girl, yes. What music artist do you never get tired of? Skillet, Linkin Park, Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. And Adam Lambert. He is my queen. Yes, please. Oh my god, I have to hurry up. I only have 30 minutes on the camera, girl. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What are some uh, accomplishments that you're really proud of? I am alive, and I'm here in my favorite place where I live. I love living here, and I am living with good people, and I have family nearby, which has never happened, so that's nice. Um, and I have really good friends. Uh, what are some obscure things that you are really into? Obscure things? Gay erotic? <laughs> I don't know. What are some things everyone should try at least once? Gay erotic. <laughs> what, uh, fad did you really never understand? Never understand, like, a fad. Okay. I mean, I think someone, I think Brit used, like, pop culture stuff. I never got dabbing. <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get a lot of the things that little kids do these days. There's a lot of things I don't get. Don't get it. Uh, what's the best thing that has happened to you this month? I started reading Kate Erotica. <laughs> yep, that's the best thing that's happened to me this month. <laughs> what would your perfect morning be like? Ooh, if I could have a beautiful man make me breakfast in the morning and then bring it to me in bed and then maybe feed me and sit on me, mm -hmm, that would be perfect. <laughs> um, is there any art or artists you are really into? A lot of people on Twitter, oh my gosh, Nerdy has really amazing art. A, a lot of like people I follow on Twitter, uh, I don't even, I don't really remember names very well though. But if, you're, if I'm following you, you know who you are. What are you always game for? Say it with me now. Gay erotica. <laughs> and BL. Yes, queen. What do you do to unwind? Animal Crossing is another thing I do to unwind. What's your favorite app on your phone? Oh, Instagram. I like being on Instagram and chatting with my friends. So yeah. And I like taking pictures of myself. Because I'm basic. <laughs> Cutest animal and ugliest animal. Um, oh, I didn't think about this crap. Cutest animal is probably... I'm not think. I haven't thought about this. A baby tiger. And the ugliest animal... I don't know. A dodo bird? I don't know. I'm moving on. Um, who is the kindest person you know? Um, a, a lot of people. I have a lot of people. Everyone who's in my friend group. <laughs> but I've had to nail it down to one, probably Brit, because I, I love her. What's your favorite piece of furniture you've ever owned? My bed. <laughs> Don't be, don't be getting nasty, it's because I love to sleep. Okay, okay, okay. 
but if anyone's willing. <laughs> Moving on. Who are your kind of people? Nerds and geeks, for sure. Absolutely, and introverts. So I don't get to see them much, but when I do get to see them, we have fun. From the comfort of our homes. <laughs> um, where's the strangest place you've ever been? I don't like this question either. Minnesota. <laughs> uh, what's the silliest fear you have? I guess spiders, because they're not gonna hurt me. I mean, they've bitten me. I have a spider bite like on my neck right here, so maybe that's not as silly. Yeah, let's just go with that. Um, what would be the best city to live in? I'm living in it right now, Portland, love it. Um, what household chore is your, is just the worst? Huh, mm, I don't like, I don't like mopping. Mopping and sweeping maybe? Well, let's see, uh, if you could give yourself a nickname, what nickname would you want people to call you? Um, I've gone by Dillinator before and I still think that is the best nickname I've ever had in my life. So yeah, Dillinator from Terminator, because yes. What odd talent do you have? I don't know what's odd. I, I have a vast knowledge of BL manga. Sure. Even though it's not that vast. <laughs> if you could give everyone just one piece of advice, what would it be? Um, I'm going to steal Britt's answer because it's a good answer. Be unapologetically yourself and do what you love no matter what someone tells you. Yeah, that's the best advice I can give you. Uh, what would you like to know more about, but haven't had the time to look into? Finding a boyfriend. <laughs> what country do you never want to visit? India. Uh, what wrong assumptions do people make about you? I guess that I'm straight. <laughs> I have it all the time. All the time. Oh, you need to get a girl. You need to get a girlfriend. Mm, yeah, you need to get one. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. Um, do you prefer work in a team or alone? Definitely a team. I'm definitely a team player. Um, what has been the best period of your life so far? Guess right now. Literally right now. Even though it's in a, it's a, it's in a bad part of our lives right now, but like, I haven't had a great life, so I'm making it better. How have you changed from when you were in high school? I am now gay, very gay, and very myself, and I don't give a fuck anymore. So yes, I'm happy with myself right now. How techy are you? Not very much at all. Uh, where is the most fun place you around where you live? Powell's Books best place on earth. Have you ever joined uh, any meetups, any meetup groups? Uh, convention, yeah, anime conventions. Um, usually not in my area because I always fly to my friends because my friends never fly to me because they never have the time or the money and they don't want to do it. They don't want to see me. So it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Where would your friends and families be most surprised to find you? A bar. Honestly, I never go out. I never go nightlife stuff. Never, ever, ever in a million years. Even, even worse, a straight bar. Ugh. What's the most relaxing situation you can imagine? <sighs> Sitting in bed with my boyfriend, cuddling and reading manga together. Mm -hmm. I don't have a boyfriend, but eventually that will be the most relaxing time of my life, I think. Maybe. <laughs> What is the most beautiful view you've ever seen? I haven't I haven't met him yet, honey, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I do love the beach in Hawaii, and I guess the Caribbean. I They mix in my mind because I was a little kid, so the beach. I love the beach. I love the sunset on the beach. Yes, please. Um, what's expensive but totally worth it? <sighs> Video games. Nintendo Switch stuff, yes. Uh, what do you feel most out of, when do you feel most out of place? I guess when I'm just meeting someone. When I meet someone, I'm very shy and like, I hold it all in. But as soon as you get to know me, girl, the gay comes out and it never goes back in. What's the most recent thing you've done for the first time? Reading gay erotica. <laughs> Um, how did you come to love your one, love one of your favorite musicians? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I guess Brit recommend, introduced me to Skillet, I think. And then it was over after that. So yeah, Brit got me into one of my favorite musicians. How did you meet your best friend? Brit and I met at Yomacon 2012? 2011? 2012? I don't remember. We met, and we also met on YouTube, but like in real life, we met at Yomacon 2012, I think. 
Uh, what small, seemingly insignificant de decision had a massive impact on your life? Coming out of the closet. I mean, it's, it, okay, it is a big deal, but it's also not a big deal. Like, it's a big deal, but it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's definitely one. And I think that's the only one I can think of right now, so we're gonna move on. Where would you move if you could move anywhere in the world and still find a job and maintain a reasonable standard of living? I'm living in the place I want to live. I don't want to move anywhere, so I'm, I'm happy here. Um, would you be like to be famous? If yes, what would you want to be famous for? If no, why not? Um, no, definitely not, because I'm an introvert and I don't want people around me at all. I don't want people to know about me. I, I mean, I make YouTube videos, but like, n ain't nobody watching me, <laughs> so it's fine. What did you do last summer? I moved to my favorite place in the entire world. Um, if you lived to 100, would you rather keep the body or the mind of yourself at 30 until you were 100? Definitely the body, even though I'm not... Like, I love my body, but it could be better, girl. It could be better. But I think I'd do the body because, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, before you make a call, do you rehearse what you are going to say? Absolutely, every single time, even for the most insignificant thing, even if it's, like, me calling my sister to, like, bring me something, I will rehearse it, and I don't, I just, I have really bad anxiety when on the phone, even with someone I know. What are your most, what are you most grateful for? My family and my friends. What's the most essential part of a friendship? Um, trust and honesty. Definitely. That sounds like a, it sounds like I'm doing an interview, like a, like a job interview. Being yourself with the person that you want to be your friend is the most important thing. If you knew you were going to die in a year, what would you change about how you live? I would, I would live dangerously. <laughs> I would be like, fuck it, I am getting pizza every night, I don't care, and then I would die in a year. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you walked for more than an hour? Actually, when we were still working, because I think I had to walk home at one point, and that definitely was an hour long walk home, um, because I work late and, the buses don't run late, so on, on like Sunday, so yeah, it was it was not fun. What did you do for last holiday, or what did you do for your next? What are you going to do for the next holiday? Um, I'm not doing anything for Easter, so nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, best and worst flavor of ice cream. Uh, the best flavor for me, I really love. Oh, I have so many favorites. Uh, mint chocolate chip is the best. I love it. Give it all to me. And the worst is anything with nuts in it. So Rocky Road, I hate nuts. Oh, blah, blah. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Ryan Reynolds, always. All modesty aside, what are you better at than 90% of most people? It doesn't have to be useful or serious. It can be something ridiculous. I can not answer this question. <laughs> okay, getting my nasty self aside. Um, I, I, I love... Damn, I hate my mind. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'm nicer than 90% of most people. There you go. That's a good answer that's not nasty. Uh, what's the strangest phone conversation you've ever had? I don't remember my phone conversations unless I, like, cry afterwards, so... We're not gonna answer that question. Um... How much personal space do you need to be comfortable? Ooh, hmm. I've never thought about this, because, like, I am a cuddler, but I also don't see men, so <laughs> who knows? I don't know, actually. I, I literally don't know, because I am a sad person. <laughs> um, what's the most interesting fact you know? I know that the publishing industry is really, really complicated, and most people don't give it enough credit for what it is, and they're just rude sometimes, I guess. Publish, getting published is not easy. And for the people who are trying to get published, I commend you because you are doing a good job and you are working hard and I wish I could be like you. There you go, that's something interesting. Okay, that's the same question. Fad or trend that you've never been able to understand? Dabbing, I guess, the game. You remember the game? Uh, any stupid internet challenge, even though I've done a couple of them, which I am really sad to say. Uh, what's your favorite character from a TV show, movie, or book? Ooh, who is my favorite character from a TV show? Jack Harkness from the Doctor Who franchise. He is me, and he can be my 
boyfriend forever, yes, please. Uh, what TV shows did you watch when you were a kid? Power Rangers, Pokemon, Digimon, yes, all the cartoons. Uh, what do you like and but are kind of embarrassed to admit? I'm not really embarrassed to admit anything. Like, I just told you, I love gay erotica and BL. Like, those are, like, the most embarrassing things I like. I guess I like... I'm not even sad. I'm not even sad about it. I like BDSM. So what? Who cares? Uh, what's your favorite smell? Ooh. Hmm. Probably either fresh baked cookies or a nice cut lawn because I don't have allergies. Um, what's, let's see, what skill or ability, hello phone, wake up, uh, what skill or ability have you always wanted to learn? Um, I am really terrible at rolling my tongue. I cannot do it. I can't. Nope, see, can't do it. That's the best I can do because I can't do it. Uh, what's the best meal you've ever had? Oh, Melissa's going to hate me. But I love the deep dish pizza, pizza at Giorgiano in Chicago. It's so fucking good. And I, sorry, Melissa, it is so fucking good. Uh, <laughs> where was your first, was your favorite place to go when you were a kid? Favorite place to go when I was a kid was either the park or mountain biking. I loved mountain biking when I was a kid. Oh my god, I love riding off-road and being dangerous. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> What's the most amount of people you've had pr to present something in front of? I guess my high school, like, like senior project. I've never, like, done anything else besides that. Um, if you could go back in time as an observer, no one could see you and you couldn't interact with anything, when would you go, want to go back to? I'd love to go to the premiere of Rent on Broadway. Very on-brand for myself, yes. <laughs> uh, what's something that most people haven't done, but you have made a YouTube channel and gotten 2,000 subscribers and then also come out on YouTube and be my fabulous, beautiful self? Not everyone can say they've done that. Mm -mm. Um, what says the most about a person? The people that they know, honestly, like the people that you hang out with and interact with say a lot about you. And I know you might not realize it, but mm, yeah, just be careful. What machine or appliance in your house aggravates you the most? My, my washer is not very good. It is cheap. Uh, what places have you visited that exceeded your expectations? Hmm. Mall of America. Not that it's a bad place or anything, but like, it's like the only thing good in Minnesota. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, if you opened a, a business, what type of business would you start? A BL manga shop. Oh my god. Or a gay erotica shop. Yes, please, girl. Uh, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Ouija. It is an awful, horrible horror movie. It is not scary. It is awful. Do not watch it, girl. What's the best road trip you've ever been on? I haven't really taken very many, so nothing. Um, if you found a briefcase filled with $1 million and $1 bills and $100 bills in front of your door, what would you do with it? If it's something that I could use, I would pay off all the debts for everyone in my family and myself. I would buy a house. Because I, I do not like renting. I do not do... I, mm -mm. <laughs> I would get um, two cats because I love kitties. And I miss my kitties. Um, and then probably give to some charities and help my friends if they needed it. Yeah. Um, if you could have the answer to any one question, what question would you want to answer? Why don't I have a boyfriend? <laughs> because of my confidence there. I already answered it. That's a bad answer for that question. I don't care. Um, what, are, what are your top three favorite things to talk about? BL manga. Gay erotica. Mm. And... Hmm, puppies. Uh, <laughs> where would you like to retire? Hawaii. I would love to retire in Hawaii. Um, what is the most bizarre person, who is the most bizarre person you've ever met? Um, Brit. <laughs> uh, what are people often surprised to learn about you? Hmm, I mean, I guess some people would be surprised that I'm gay, but I'm, I'm not, I don't hide it, girl. I don't know, I, I'm, I, that I'm so damn beautiful. 
Would you rather live full time in an RV or full time on a sailboat? Definitely a sailboat, absolutely. What would you do with the extra time if you never had to sleep? Read all of the BL manga in the world. When we were a kid, what seemed like the best thing about being a grown up? I guess getting money, but now I see the truth. <laughs> um, what's the strangest way you become friends with someone? Mm, I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> what's your go to series or movie when you want to watch something but can't find anything to watch? Go to series. Oh, series. Okay. Um, go to probably. I mean, if we're going to a movie, it'll be easy. The Lost Boys. I love that movie. I can watch it a million times. Uh, what were some of the, the turning points in your life? Moving out of Idaho to here to live with my sister, or live near my sister after my dad passed away. That's the biggest turning point in my life. Also, coming out, even though that was really difficult because of family problems. Um, and... Finally, getting out of an abusive relationship at home. That's all I'll say. What companies made you so mad that you would rather suffer bodily harm than give them any more of your money? Uh, PETA and... I don't know any, like, companies that piss me off. Oh, the Westboro Baptist Church, but you don't, like, give them money, so... I, I, maybe you do, I... no, but no, no, no. Um, oh, and, and also uh, Chick-fil-A, fuck you. Um, <laughs> what small things brighten up your day when they happen? When my friends say hi to me on Instagram or Twitter. I love you guys. Uh, what sports would be funniest if the athletes had to be drunk while playing? Wrestling. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, what's the most ridiculous thing you've done because you were bored? Oh, I put a bunch of BL manga on my head and like recited a song on Twitter. <laughs> yep, that is a bizarre thing that I have done and I do not regret it. <laughs> if you could send one letter to yourself in the past without the goal of making yourself rich, what age would you choose and what would the letter say? I would choose probably like my... <sighs> oh. I'm gonna choose like my 10 year old self and tell them that it's okay to experiment. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to feel like shit right now. It will get better. How many other countries have you visited? Oh, not many. I'm Canada, uh, the Caribbean if that counts. And that's like it. I haven't traveled at all, girl. Um, what's your favorite band name? Favorite band name? Um, if we're just saying name, I like Bullet for My Valentine. It's not one of my favorite bands, but I love that. I love that title. It's so fucking cool. Um, what do you miss about what do you miss about life ten or twenty years ago? Nothing. Um, oh, or maybe okay, okay. Seeing Power Rangers on TV and watching Pokemon every day after school. There's something positive about my childhood. That's like the only thing good about it. Um, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. What's getting worse and worse as you get older? What's, um, bills. <laughs> what's getting better and better as you get older? Friendships. It's true. Uh, what's the best place in your town or city to have a picnic? I don't know, I don't go outside. <laughs> what's your favorite thing to do outdoors? I walk my dog and that's it. Uh, what about indoors? Reading BL manga and gay erotica. That's gonna be the go-to answer for every single question on this quiz. Um, how often do you dance? All the time, girl. I love dancing. Watch my Twitter videos, watch my Instagram stories. Yes. Yes, queen. Uh, what do you never get tired of? BL romance and gay erotica. <laughs> what habit do you wish you could start? Do I wish I could start? I guess saving more money, but I'm, I'm doing that now because I'm not going out. Um, what habits do you wish... Oh, sorry. Uh, what's the best way to get to know someone who who someone really is? I bet we already answered that. I, I guess the people they hang out with. Anyway, uh, what's the last new thing you tried? Do you know the answer? Gay erotica. I swear, these questions are repeating themselves. Girl, what happened? Who besides your parents taught you the most about life? Brit and Brit's family, Melissa, basically all my YouTube friends, and my sister. 
When you are most you, what the fuck phone? When you are the most you that you can be, uh, when do you feel most like yourself? On YouTube, honestly. Honestly, I, this is really therapeutic for me because I'm really introverted in real life. And like, outside of that, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable my, around my friends, but I am, I am most comfortable in front of a camera. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm so beautiful. Uh, da, da, da. What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Ask my high school best friend out on a date and cry afterwards because it said no. What's happening now that in 20 years people will look back on and laugh? Donald Trump is president. <laughs> I'm going to steal Brits because it is the funniest thing. Um, how much social interaction is too much? A lot of it. I mean, well, actually, I can deal with, like, a convention. If I'm around nerdy, geeky people, it's fine. But if I'm around people that I don't know... Also, I don't like talking about politics. No. Goodbye. I am leaving. <laughs> um, so anything about that. How much different do you act when you are with acquaintances versus people you are comfortable with? Again, we've already got to discuss this. I am very, very gay in front of my friends. Outside of it, I kind of hold it in. Not to, because I don't want to, but, like, I don't like confrontation. And I don't want anyone to be a homophobic piece of shit to me because I don't know what I'll do. And I don't want to hurt them. So... Um, on a, a weekend or holiday, what's the time of day and best time of night? <sighs> best time of day is like noon for lunchtime, and best time of night is midnight for midnight snacks. <laughs> that's a good answer. <laughs> what are you looking forward to that's happening soon? Paramorphicon, maybe. Um, phone, will you just stop? What the fuck is this website doing? I have two minutes on this camera, girl. I have ten more questions to get through. What you, what really cheesy song do you love? If I could walk 100 miles, then I would walk 100 miles with you. Whatever that is, um, that song. Um, what's the worst or best job you've had? I like all of my jobs. I really loved working for that coffee shop in Idaho. That was one of the best jobs of my life, and I love it. And I love my current job, too. So, yes. Um, what's the most significant plot twist in your life? I'm gay! <laughs> Where did you take family vacations when you were younger? Um, I already answered it. Hawaii, um, the San Juan Islands as well. Um, what's your go-to funny story? Oh god, I have a minute left, girl! Okay, I tell some funny con stories sometimes. I can't tell you, um, <laughs> because I don't have time. If the company you work for had a, uh, had an honest slogan, what would it be? I'm not answering this question because I am not talking about work. No, I've done that and gotten in trouble and I'm not gonna do that again. Um, if you could instantly receive a PhD for anything, including all knowledge, what would it be? A gay fiction in general. <laughs> How well do you cope when you don't have your phone with you for an extended period of time? Not that, I, I'm fine, honestly. I can just read my manga, I'm fine. Um, what were some of the happiest times of your life so far? Meeting my friends online. Uh, would you rather have an incredibly fast car or friendly fast internet? Internet for sure. What are some of the top three social situations you try to avoid most? Politics, anything involving, I guess, social badness like racism and homophobia. I don't like talking about that. And... <sighs> Women. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, what friendship have you had? Why is there ten more questions? Okay. I'm gonna have to stop the camera and delete something because I'm out of room. So, give me a second. There we go. We have plenty of room on the camera now because this is a long-ass video. What friendship you've had has... Ex What's a friendship you've had that has impacted you the most? This question was not grammarly correct, so I fixed it because I'm fabulous. I would definitely say my YouTube friends, all of them, my whole crew, everybody, I, you know who you are. You know who you are. You're my favorite, and you're the people that have stuck around for my life, honestly, because I move a lot. I've moved a lot and lost a lot of people. I still connect with them still, but there's, there's something about having online friends, that security and that if they're always there for you. That's what I like, so thank you. Oh god, I can't read. My glasses are bad. Um, <laughs> what's something you're interested in that most people wouldn't expect? BDSM. Deal with it. Um, what's your favorite quote or saying? Oh, no day but today from Brent. On brand. <laughs>
Um, if you had the power to change one law, what law would you change? Okay, I should have checked before I made this video, but the gay blood ban. That needs to go away. That is so fucking dated and so fucking homophobic as all fuck, and I can't believe it's still around. I think it might have already been abolished, but if it's still around, that one. What's the hardest you've ever worked for something? Ooh, it's just being awesome. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I'm a really hard worker, and I'm a good team player, and I, again, it sounded like an interview, but it's true, and I've climbed up the ladder at certain, in certain jobs, and just being awesome, being myself, honestly. And that sounds really bad, but whatever. What took you way too long to figure out? That I was gay. Because, oh my god, when I watched Rent for the first time, I was like, what? Being, you can, you can like men? Wait, wait, being, liking guys is an option? Wait, what? wait, wait a minute, I didn't know this. What, what, who, what meeting was I supposed to go to that I could have a guy instead of a girl? Wait, what? Yeah, that was my reaction when I watched Rent and my friends were very, very scared and very, very confused. <laughs> um, what nicknames have you had throughout your life? Dillinator, Wizzy, don't ask. <laughs> and... The Queen. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what do you do differently than most people? I respect everybody that I meet, and I am nice to everyone that I meet, regardless of whether I have issues with them. Because I'm just a nice person. Where's the last place you'd ever go? The s mm, oh, I don't want to say that in general. I was going to say the South. <laughs> North Carolina. I don't know. Somewhere. There, the, mm, mm, there some places down there I do not want to visit. Um, <laughs> what fact floored you when you heard it? You can like men. <laughs> Literally the truth, though. <laughs> Um, if you ex unexpectedly won $10,000, what would you spend it on? Okay, if we're not being smart, if this is like, oh my god, I can go on any vacation ever, I would want to spend it on a trip with my friends. I want everyone to come, and we're all going to go to a convention. A, a week-long convention, though. Maybe we'll go to two conventions. Actually, I don't know if we could do that with $10,000. Okay, maybe only like two or three of my friends can come. <laughs> Who is the best role model a person could have? My dad. It's true. Oh, and that is the last question. Yay! That wasn't too bad. Just 50 minutes of a video. It's fine. <laughs> So thank you for tagging me, Britt. This was a lot of fun. I wasn't sure what video to make next, so this was very helpful for me, and you learned a little more about me and probably more than you wanted to know. <gasps> Yay! And I'm going to tag some people, some really awesome people. I'm going to tag... My brain died. Shayla from Shay Geeks Out. I'm also going to tag... Aisha from Mama Loves Manga, and then finally, um, I'm gonna tag, okay, I'm gonna tag uh, Laura from Manga Hoarder, and also Jen from Shelf Space, Speedi Shelf Space Fleeting. I always have trouble with your name, girl, uh, or your channel name. Anyway, I want you two to do this video together, because I feel like that would be such a fun video for you two girls to make, so yeah, yeah, please do this if you can. I would love to see your videos. I know it's a long video, but... Just do it anyway, because I'm fabulous. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I thought there was a man outside my window and I was going to die, but I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please remember, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy.